what is going on guys so today i wanted to show you guys a awesome minecraft tutorial for you guys that are on custom firmware uh doesn't matter the version of custom firmware but as long as you have a hacked or modded console you guys can do this tutorial so basically what i'm going to be showing you guys is how to convert and transfer over pc minecraft texture packs over to the playstation 3 so that you can change the overall feel of the game so this will actually change all the blocks and all the images of the blocks to a different image giving you more of a better looking environment the blocks will look more nicer more hd quality uh, a lot of different things some of them will be animated so let's get right into the tutorial. The first thing you need to do is actually get a USB device. I'd recommend getting a 8 gigabyte or higher uh, just because, I don't know, I think uh, that's standard nowadays. And so what you're going to want to do is plug your USB in and it should come up on the right side here. I'm, I'm actually using a Macintosh. It should come up if you're using Windows on um, my computer. What you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description below and it will include all of these these PC Minecraft textures that have been converted so far to the PlayStation 3. So right now what I'm going to be doing is transferring over DokuCraft. Um, I did a previous video on DokuCraft. Um, so what you're actually going to want to do is just transfer DokuCraft onto your USB. That will uh, be placed on the USB. It includes all of the images created for the PlayStation 3. And then you want to safely eject the USB. After that, I'm going to be showing you guys on the console. Alright, so we're back on the console. So the first thing you need to do is download and install Multiman. Multiman is a file backup manager that handles most of the PlayStation 3's file structures. Um, it is only available for custom firmware users, and I will put the link in the description below. So if you don't have a hacked or modded console, you will not be able to do this. Um, so install Multiman, and then just launch it on your console. Alright, so once Multiman comes up, actually on the screen, you should see a mini XMB. Um, this will actually be where you want it go over all the way to the left into your file manager or MMOS. Let's just exit out of these ones and go over to the top left and you'll see PS3 root. You'll want to go down to dev USB 001 or 00 uh, depending on which port you actually put it on would determine if it's a number or not. Um, then you want to just move that over to the right and then you want to open a separate window uh, with separate PS3 root and go down to dev hdd0 go into your game folder and then go all the way down to npub31419 and you want to go into usr dir and then dlc you want to go over to your usb press x on the doku craft that we transferred onto the usb then press circle and then press copy go over to the separate Thing on your hard drive here and press circle then press paste and it'll ask you would you like to copy these selected folders and press yes this second screen will be basically because I already have the same texture pack so would you like to replace this actually won't ask you because you're doing it for the first time so I'm just gonna press yes it'll copy over it's normally a lot faster um, and then what you want to do is just exit out, out of multi-man Alright, so what you're going to want to do is actually launch Minecraft, and once you go down to, just going to continue playing offline, and go down to a map that you can see all of the blocks, I do have Seraphim, Shambhala, actually includes all of them, and inside of your texture packs you should see Doku Craft, and you want to click on that and press load. Let's see here, trophies are disabled because the map was created by somebody else, which is perfectly fine, uh, let's just wait for this to load up actually going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison so you guys can definitely see the difference between these two uh, once this actually loads up I'll just be showing you guys the blocks that come up this is actually a rather large map so it does take a couple minutes to load um, so let's see here desert leaving the nether Uh, so 
Overall, the chest and the bed you can see is a little bit more medieval, a little bit more grungy looking. So are the blocks, the wood blocks here. So are the doors. It's just a really awesome overall texture. So if you guys did enjoy this video, would like to see more tutorials, go ahead and leave me a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. If you guys are having problems, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And I'll definitely be able to help you guys. Alright, peace.